Hey guys, so in this tutorial we will learn how to create an advanced working functioning carousel like you see in here. There are three options here, you can swipe left, swipe right, you see the dot in here is moving accordingly. So let's get to it. So we start over the car design, so this is a sample car that I created that is a pricing for some service or product, doesn't really matter. And uh, to make it uh, the carousel really flexible, we need to put this item in a repeater. So let's grab the repeater from the library and just put it there. So I'll just copy paste it in the repeater. And now we see that uh, the cards are in a vertical order. So we need to put them in a horizontal. So let's switch it to horizontal and add a little bit of spacing between the columns. So let's say 24 pixels. And now we have the structure set up. Obviously we need to do content. So we go to the table and uh, add the name and price and all the other data. So I have the content set up now with three tiles and now we want to move those tiles. So in order to move it, we need to wrap the repeater in a dynamic panel. This is important for two reasons, because firstly, we will be using the swiping gesture and secondly, so that we can crop what we see. So we crop, uh, we set the dynamic panel to the width of the viewport. So I'm prototyping for mobile, so it's just the width of the mobile. And uh, then we just center the repeater within the dynamic panel so that we have the starting position. Next, we want to move the repeater on the swiping uh, gesture, uh, but for some reason in Nextry you cannot move the actual repeater widget. So if you want to move the repeater, you have to group it. So we just create a group. So we group the repeater in a group, we call it move. And then we select the dynamic panel. We go to new interaction. We select swipe left and we move the group. And by how much? Well, we only move it relatively in the uh, X axis. So the Y is zero and the X. Uh, I always try to work with variables so that it, this animation and this interaction will work if I make the tile uh, narrow or wide, whatever. So I just target the tile so uh, let's target the tile and now we move it by how much? So we have to move it by the width of the tile and plus of course, uh, I think it's 24, uh, which is the, uh, the spacing, right? So that would move it, that would move the next tile to this and of course we have to add the minus because we are moving it from right to left. So we are decreasing the X coordinate and we of course want to animate it. So easy not cubic 500 milliseconds. That's all right. So let's preview. So we swipe left and it moves just right now. The problem the, that we have to fix is that I can now swipe left and it moves again. So obviously this shouldn't happen. And then another thing is that we see the shadows are cropped as well. So we don't want that to happen either. So go back to Anchor. So first fix the shadows that's easy. So just make the dynamic panel a little bit bigger and then just move this from the edges. So now the shadows will be visible because the dynamic panel also crops the shadows. Um, I don't know if they're going to fix that, but that's what we're working with now. And now what we need to do is go to the move uh, interaction and uh, add a boundary, right? So boundary so that you move it only up to a certain amount. And the boundary is that the right side, so the right side of the group, right? Uh, must be always greater than or equals. And so basically we want it to be always greater than or equals this, uh, uh, this value, right? So it never goes past this point. So we just need to calculate this value. 
and so to calculate it we will need the tile so again target the tile and we will go so we are now in the dynamic panel so we'll go this dot width over two so that gives us the midpoint of the dynamic panel and we add to it tile dot width over two right so this is because everything is nicely centered so that is the boundary <clears throat> so now if we go back and we swipe and now we can't move any further so basically now we just do the same for the left side so we swipe right and we uh, apply boundary for swiping right so now i have the interactions fully set up so swipe left swipe right so let's preview so i swipe left that's fine i swipe right that's working great so <clears throat> now the next step would be to add the progress dots on the bottom so let's just draw a little circle eight by eight that's fine now uh, let's uh, style it a little bit and again we will uh, put it in a repeater so that it, this solution is easily scalable so let's drag another repeater in and uh, put the circle again we need to make it horizontal instead of vertical and some spacing in there as well so now we have three dots and uh, we need to make them alive so uh, how do we do it so it's a very easy actually so just copy the ellipse get out of the repeater and paste it there and just fill it up with a solid color and put it uh, place it on top of one of the circles and we'll just move this ellipse right so <clears throat> how do we do it so we go back to the dynamic panel and we just add another uh, target to this move interaction right so we uh, go here we add the target so uh, when the uh, when we swipe left <clears throat> we actually want the ellipse to move right okay so we target this ellipse we might actually just give it a name right so this is the uh, current uh, current tile so let's move the current again re relatively by how much so we are moving it by target dot width so that is by the width of the ellipse itself and then we add the spacing to it and of course we uh, need to animate it and add the bounds just like we did here so that it doesn't go off <laughs> uh and uh, to the beyond and uh, so we set the boundary so the right boundary must be less than or equal to and we need to target the repeater of those ellipses so it is this one and of course it needs to be repeated its x value plus its width okay so let's see if that works yes it works and now we just do it in the opposite direction as well so now i have the interaction set up in both directions so swipe left swipe right i have the necessary interactions there so now if we preview we can swipe left we can swipe right the dot moves uh, as it should and it doesn't move past its boundaries so the beauty of the solution is that it is easily scalable right so if say you don't need three tiles now but you need four five or six you can easily just go here and you can just uh, copy and paste all those uh, data that you need right so i will just add three more organization tiles 
so that is six or just so that it is nicer i will add another one so that we have the seven so let's now say that i have seven tiles so i also need to add dots so that i have seven dots so four five six seven and now i just center this and also i would like to well center this and and it works so i just added uh, dots in the repeater i added tiles in the repeater and now if preview it all works so that's nice if you work with repeaters and don't just uh, in quotes hard code <laughs> the stuff uh, then you can easily change it and scale it uh, if as your needs change when you prototype so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you learned something. If you did, hit the like button and give me a comment what would you would like to see next. So that's all for from me, Slavo, and uh, see you in the next one.